Welcome, today I wanna to show you how to make up to $10,000 a month with digital wall art using ChatGPT and Midjourney. Okay, if we look at the seller on Etsy, they have close to 35,000 sales. Now we can assume that there are sales based on these number of feedbacks. Of course, they probably have more. And if we multiply that by the average price of $45, see, you will see that they have easily made close to $1.5 million in sales on this listing alone. And obviously these are prints, but we would go over prints as well as digital. Okay, so you gotta figure out what aspect ratio that you want. For these three sets, these are 18 by 24 inches, okay, which makes that a three by four ratio for every single one separately. But we wanna find out the aspect ratio of them all together as one. So we're gonna Google aspect ratio inches calculator and it'll come up with this tool on Bellevue Fine Art, okay? And we know that 18 times three for each picture is 54, okay? And then we're gonna do a height of 24 because the height will not change, okay? That'll give us an aspect ratio of nine to four. Okay, next we're gonna head on over to Discord. I sign up for Discord, and then you wanna go to Midjourney and sign up for Midjourney. While you're on the Midjourney's website, signing up, it'll link you to Discord, and then it'll open inside of Discord. And then from there, you can send a personal message to Midjourney and follow these prompts. Okay, inside of Discord, we wanna hit backslash, imagine, and then type our prompt. Now, for my prompt, I used a stunning mountain landscape photograph, perfect for wall art, showcasing majestic snow, blah, 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 all the way at the very end, dash, dash, AR9, Four. That's where we got our aspect ratio. V5, Q2, S1000. And if you need help writing these prompts, trust me, I got something that's going to make it super fast. Stay tuned at the end of the video to show you how to automatically come up with these prompts to have these amazing photos. Okay, it's going to spit out four images. You'll see a U1234, which means upscale, and V1234, which means version 1234 to make another version of those. I clicked U1, hit save as. And then from there, we gotta go and upscale this image. For upscale, I use upscale.media. Okay, I entered it in, and you wanna upscale it by 4X. Now let's say, for instance, you just want one of these photos as your art. Okay, you're gonna go here and type in 18 by 24, and it'll give you an aspect ratio of three to four. And instead of putting nine to four, you would put three to four right there. That way that photo is, comes out perfect for you. Okay, once you've got the upscaled image, we're going to cut it into three. For that, we're going to use pinetools.com. You can also Google that. Okay, you will upload the upscaled image in here. And right over here, we want the quantity of blocks to be equal. We want it horizontally. And we want three blocks. Okay, image quality be 100. Same as input for the format. Okay, then over here, it will give us a downloaded zip once we split the image or three separate images right there. We would download the zip, but you can feel free to download each one individually. All right, as you can see, I have that image split into three equal files. Now, most folks will be doing print on demand on Etsy. And for that, you can use Printify. And to keep this tutorial short, there's plenty of tutorials on how to set up your Etsy store and connect it with your Printify to offer all kinds of canvas prints. But we will not go into that right now. If you want to see a tutorial on that, feel free to leave me a comment. Now, if you're planning on selling this anywhere, you might want to show what it will look like on someone's wall. So for that, we want to look up a three wall art mock-up on Etsy. And this is great if you have any Photoshop experience or photo P, but if not, there are other alternatives online such as Canva. And some of those are free. Some of them cost just a little bit more for the pro version. Um, you can also use a website called place it. And inside of here, we can enter in all three images and it'll give us a nice little mock-up. Now, for this, unlimited downloads is $7.47 a month, or you can just buy that one mock-up for $7.95, but I think it makes sense to do the monthly version. Now, as far as just selling the digital prints itself, look at this seller right here. 24 pieces sold in a bundle. Okay, now these are just the digital downloads. For $6.90, they've got 2,300 reviews. Okay, so that's 2,300 sales, and we'll just multiply it by five because we'll assume that the other $1.90 will be spent on fees, listing, and ads. And look, that's over $11,000. And this is just one listing. We can create multiple of these, and they don't take long at all. I mean, this is 24 images, but if you guys remember, I created those four images in a matter of minutes. 
Now you do for every prompt, you will get four images, upscale all four of those. OK, that's six prompts to create 24 images. You can do that in a matter of 15 or 20 minutes for one listing on Etsy. You create 10 listings that are doing over $11,000 a year, you'll be at $10,000 a month, easy in no time. It will take a little bit of work and some of your own money on advertising. The way to create an amazing wall art with Midjourney is by knowing how to prompt. And I'll show you how to do that in this video.